What guides you to find purpose and direction? For me, there's so many ways or uh, stories that happen to guide me to this direction. I would mm-hmm. say, honestly, there are two stories. So the first story was um, I was working and a little boy approached me. My hair was in a ponytail. I didn't even realize my hair was for showing, to be honest. And he said, Miss, Miss, like, I'm deaf too. Look at my hair and And it was so cute. And we had a great conversation because my hair and was pink at the time. And you could see it. And, um, and we had a small conversation. His mom came to me and she was like full of joy. And I was confused because I'm like, why is she like so happy? And she's like, no, like, I'm trying to explain to my son that he is normal. There's nothing wrong with him. Like, he can interact with other kids that are hearing and also who are deaf. Mm-hmm. And, my dad, and I thought to myself, this is so true because I suffered like that too when I was growing up with, to be like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And she said to me, you're going to make a change in the world by simply doing that. You just showed my son a lot of confidence. And I'm like, oh my God. And I realized that, you know, and then she said, you're going to change the world. I don't know what you will do, but <laughs> you will change it. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So, and I thought about it, honestly. And then until I finish up my last year of university, I actually met a professor who was also deaf. And it was just crazy because we were talking about, you know, what it's like to be deaf in the professional field. Mm-hmm. And he gave me really good advice telling me to, no matter what career you succeed or want to do, you have to keep going because you never know who's watching you, right? You-